Thank you for watching. In this video, you will learn how to delete files based on certain conditions with UiPath Studio X. My name is Thomas Janssen and I'm a UiPath Most Valuable Professional. Let's start right away. If you navigate to the project files of this project, click on project, open project folder, you will see that I have a directory here called frogs. And in the directory, you'll see five pictures of frogs. And if we change the view to detailed view, you'll see that some of them are particularly large, like this one and this one, and some of them are smaller. What we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna delete all the images that are larger than one megabyte. With the same logic that you will learn today, you can also remove files that have been created before a certain date, or you can use many other conditions. If you want to automate it together with me, you can download these images by following the link in the description of this video. Let's never get back to UiPad. The first activity that we're gonna add is this one for each file. This is the one you need for each file in folder. So I'm gonna add this one. And then you can select the folder here. So click here on the directory icon. Navigate to documents, UiPad. And I called my project files and folders. And in there, you will see the directory frogs. Click on that directory and then click on select folder. If your folder has subfolders, you can also click here on include subfolders to make sure that all the subfolders are also taken into concern. Then in the next step, let's add an if condition. So search for if. And then let's take this one and drag it in the for each file in folder. Then we're going to open the condition builder and we can do that by clicking on this symbol. And then we're going to create the condition. So the files that we are going to delete need to satisfy the follower condition. So click here on current file and then you can select the condition. As I mentioned before, you can also remove files that have been created or modified before a certain date. But for now, I'm going to go for the size in kilobyte. And I'm going to select the size is greater than, and here I'm going to add a number, which is thousands. So the size is in kilobytes. So this means that I'm going to remove all the files with a file size larger than thousand kilobytes or one megabyte. Click on save. If you want, you can also add more conditions that this file has to satisfy by clicking on add. And then you can choose whether all or one of them needs to be satisfied. For now, I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to click on save because this is the only condition that I want to use for now. The next step is to add a delete activity. So search for delete and this is the one you need, delete file. So if the size of a file is larger than one megabyte, we're going to delete it. Um, add the delete file and then click on the plus symbol, current file, full name includes full path. So the file that we want to delete is a file that we're currently looping through and we select that file by providing the full name. This is all you have to do in UiPath Studio X to build a bot in order to move large files. Let's go back to the project directory and let's take a look at the frogs one more time. You will see that here we have five frogs. And if I view the details, you will see as well that two of them have sizes of more than one megabyte. Let's run a robot. Let's go back to the directory. So click on project, open project folder, go to the frogs. I will see that we only have three frogs left. Click on view, details. I will see that the frogs with a larger file size than one megabyte have been deleted. Thank you for watching. I really hope that this tutorial was useful for you and hope to see you back in one of the next videos. Happy automation.